toothpick, relaxed, ready to go. I hate to bring up the other game, but I got them going up there. I said, <laughs> who's the better Fortnite player? They started chirping at each other before, before the game. And Wingoat will start with it first. Ball at the 38-yard line. We're in the NFC North now. Bears and Vikes. This is what I'm talking about, Coltrane. Let's rock. You talked about so cool, calm, and collected. It's actually both of these guys. But Wingoat may be beyond his years. Yeah, at only 18 years old, too. New Brighton, Minnesota. I mean, he was born in 1999, Coltrane. <laughs> I was getting it in in 1999. I was a junior in high school, so let's just move on from there. First and 10. And he'll hand it off to Henry. And he'll fall forward to the 40. It'll be second and nine. I'm feeling the toothpick swag right there by Keynes. I don't know why. I'm feeling it. Both of these guys, I should call out their playbooks. We got Canes rocking the West Coast offense with the Kansas City defense. And Wincoat rocking New England Patriots offense and defensive playbook. Standing in the pocket is Mariota. And he'll find Fuller. That'll bring up a third and five at the 44. This is a big statement drive, too, for Winkle. When he was in Minnesota, his offense was so dominant. I was so impressed by this young man. I'm very interested to see if he can keep that offensive dominance going in this tournament. Mariota will hand it off to Henry, and he'll pinball his way into plus territory at the 47. Canes, he pinched that defensive line right there, trying to stop the inside run. Wintgo doesn't care, picks up the first down. And Canes is a guy, I don't know who Wintgo labs with, but you know, Canes, he, he's been practicing with some of the best Madden players. He's part of that top Madden crew. Good friends with Serious Mo, problem right. I mean, he's got the camp to get him ready. Back to Henry. So we'll have second and seven, just methodically working his way here on his opening drive. Do you think the toothpick makes it till the end of the game? There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> One bad play, that thing's gone. Henry. Oh! He breaks through. Ooh, quick tackle. Stumble mechanic able to recover. That's that stumble recovery, Coltrane. Every now and then you'll go into a stumble animation right there. You got to flick the right stick down. It'll help you regain your balance, fight for some extra yards, and Henry's getting busy for Wint. Luckily, he didn't have the speed to take it to the end zone. Got to throw it away. Can't get rid of it. And that's a loss of six. High-level Madden right there. Rolls out, tries to throw it away by clicking in the right stick before he can. Kane sends the flat route by clicking in the right stick himself. I know I'm speaking sp like foreign language <laughs> to a lot of people, but you got to trust me. A lot of good stuff going on right there. Second and 16 now on the edge of field goal range. Oh! Wow! And he gets crispy at the five. What a dot. Oh, my goodness. He almost threw a pick, but instead threads the needle. Look at this. If you're Kane's, I think you got to try to click on to this player. Let's see if you try to click on. No, he didn't get on the defender. A late click. And now it's first and goal at the five. And Double tight end. Stretches it out to Henry. And Keynes in that bear defense was able to bear down. Loss of two. Still can't believe when completed that last pass. That was a big play. But Kane's looking like he's keeping his composure. He's young, but he's an experienced player. And I like to see that from him. Second and goal now at the seven. The stage is too big for you to get frustrated. Went! Goes inside, a couple missed tackles. And you see a face of what the what? Look, Touchdown, Vikings. Look at Went go. He's not playing at all. He doesn't even blink. Kicks the ball perfect, and he's picking up right where he left off in Minnesota with dominant offense. Well, let's see what's going on over there in the Packers and the Lions, guys. Early touchdowns over here as well, guys. Rival really making it look easy on the ground. 
Really nice, about 30 yard touchdown run to take a seven nothing early lead over here. Rival up on drag. Rival's been real tough, don't you just ask your friend Bugs? Oh my God, and Rival, 17 years old, but come in here and knock off a top player like Boogs and end his season right away. People started taking notice, and then he handled Nova. We got our eye on that young man over there playing drag, but he is going up against the veteran in drag. Yeah, he won like 87% of his games. Not too bad for the youngster. First and 10 at the 27 for Canes. Trailing them by a touchdown. Can't get away. That's going to be a loss of two as Henry will bring up second and 11, so a loss of a yard and a half. Check out Winko's shirt right there. He's sponsored by In Control Gaming. They're holding him down, hooked him up with a cool jersey right there, and I love seeing these competitive guys with those sponsors, building their names, building their brands. So shout out to In Control Gaming for holding down Wentco, along with those Minnesota Vikings. And a flip to formation, Jones solo to the left. Mariota. will get away from the pocket and pick up a few, and that's what you get out of Mariota. Can I give a quick pointer real quick? What you saw right there from Keynes is he, instead of holding the right trigger down when he scrambled, he tapped it once, and that puts you in a scramble local where you're maybe not as fast, but you can still move away from the pressure, and you're more accurate when you let the ball loose. It's a very good tactic. It's very responsive. That's something you're going to want to try at home if you haven't yet. You tap the right trigger to go into the rollout local. Well, I thought he was going to try to squeeze it into X as he was coming across the deep part of the field. Fourth and eight at the 28, and... It's Madden football. What do you think, RG? Got to go. He's, he's going to punt. Wow. He's going to punt. Keynes must be feeling good about his defense. Nope. Timeout. Fox calls the timeout. What's he doing? He's making subs on the a timeout to make some. Oh, he had the kicker. He had kicker. the wrong kicker, and he he's going to put Dan Bailey in. That's what it was, Coltrane. Get a bit more distance. And that's big. That's smart of Keynes to recognize that. Because that's going to be the difference in about 15 to 20 yards on that punt. Smart by Keynes. And Harrison Smith able to fair catch it. One of the nicest guys in the league. He's a monster at safety, huh? Three, 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 Let's see. Keynes trying to believe in that Bears defense. Let's see if those 85 Bears can come out to play. Or is Winko going to continue his offensive dominance? I mean, I was buzzing after Winko one call trade. It was <laughs> impressive, man. He was making solid reads. I know he had that one close play on his last drive. It wasn't, you know, as prolific as we saw in Minnesota. But I was thoroughly impressed with Winko's offense. Second and seven now. And there's the pressure. And it'll be taken down. And I'll bring up a third and 13. Take a look at it again, RG. Yeah, and look at this nickel 335 defense. It's flipped this time, so the cornerback comes from the right other than the left. And you're going to see a lot of that from that nickel 335 aggressive defense that everyone's going to talk about. It's either going to be a three man rush or most likely a four man rush with the D line and that slot cornerback coming as well. And if you really want to dial it up, you can start blitzing one or two of those linebackers. It's a cover two base defense. You got the three hook zones in the middle. Usually, as long as you control one of those hook zones, you could use the other ones to adjust and take things away. It's a great defense to adjust out of and generate some pressure. Third and 13, you also see those guys get in a deep blue. And Richardson drops it. If you notice on that one, you saw the one of the middle linebackers dropping deep to cover that middle part of the field. That's a great call out, Coltrane. That's a big part of the meta, as people like to run a cover two but then hot route their middle linebacker into a deep zone, so it's a cover two look, but they really turn it into a cover three with the middle linebacker playing the deep third. Uh-oh! Kanzo! And Good stick! Nice job on the punt return to the 35, and all of a sudden, just like that, after the Renfro return, that's the legend. You got it, Mel Renfro. This puts him on the edge of field goal range. Wow, that was good stick work by Keynes. And how about Keynes having the faith in his defense to punt the ball against the offensive specialist, get the stop, get a good return. Can you capitalize on offense, Keynes? Play got action, him. and there is Julio Jones. 
Ball now to 21. Look at it again. This is a absolutely nice route to the outside. Yeah, Mariota to Julio, and that's what we love about Ultimate Team. You're not just playing with those normal Bears. You assemble the squad you, the way you want it, and that's how you make the Mariota to Julio connection alive. You can't even see that at the Pro Bowl. I'm telling you, there's, divisions. there's some GMs out there that would say, okay, <laughs> How do I get involved? How do I get these guys? It's a lot of fun. Even some of the older guys, once they realize they can play with the legends and stuff, they, they, they're all in. Second and five. Harrison in motion. Mariota scrambling. Uh-oh. Buying time. Uh-oh. And he'll slide. He'll lose a yard but live to fight another down. Yeah, the funny thing about those legends, I remember my dad's watching one of these. He says, you guys got Mel Blount in the game? <laughs> That guy was a killer. Former Steeler. You got Night Train Lane. You got Paulie Krause. Really cool. Something that, you know, the older casual fan can relate to. And then it's a way where you get to see those guys interact with some of these new school players. And there is uh -oh. Sharp. He's in. And he's into the end zone. And Canes gets the score. And did you see the look Canes give Winko? Kind of stares at him, yeah, lets him know I'm here, I'm ready to rock, I'm keeping my cool. Got a divisional ball game. Uh-oh, he might have missed that. He might have missed this extra point, Scott. And it will creep nope. that way, but it'll stay within the uprights. And we're tied up at seven. Shannon Sharp with the score. Both him and his brother are in the game, Sterling. Yeah, legends. I'll say Keynes is very lucky right there. He didn't miss that extra point. He was way outside of that accuracy window. And sometimes you're fortunate enough to hit those when you're that far out. But a lot of times it can result in a miss. Take a look at it again. It's just right to the flats of the tight end. And Sharp does the rest. Yeah, and take what they give you. You're not going to have one play touchdowns when you're playing on this level. They're not going to come that easy. you got to put together drives. And that's what Keynes did right there. Goes back to Derrick Henry. And Henry will pick up around six yards, second and four, with 3.22 left to go in the half. We got a tie game. Back in the gun. Trips to the left, got Delaney Walker. As the tight end, as Paul Richardson comes across the formation. It's a delay to Henry, oh, and there's the truck stick. Get off me to the 50-yard line. Good truck right here by Winko. Good stick. Goes through the hole. And look at this. Up on the right stick. Use a truck. Get out of my way. I was at lunch with Canes. Problem. I can list the about the entire rest of the AFC. <laughs> was at lunch. And he's had that toothpick for about three hours. No. He's rocking it. Not the same toothpick. It's, it's got to be, be the it's same gotta one. It's got to be new ones rotating in and out. There's no <laughs> way you sustain, sustain a toothpick for that long. I've used toothpicks before, Coltrane. It's just not happening. Second and six. Coming up on the two-minute warning. Look at that route Fuller's on. Look at that corner route. That's a smart routed, weird corner. It's covered. Roll out to buy time, and now he's open. He got behind oh. the formation. Like you said, the way to, way to stick with it with Wink, though, like you said, it was completely covered, but Wink just extends the play right here, waits for him to clear the zoner. He forgets about him. Possession catch, execution by Wink. Look how fresh that toothpick. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. There's no way. It's a fresh toothpick right there. No way that's from lunch. First to 10 at the 11. Here at the two-minute warning. Crowd in it. He's passing on first. Uh-oh. So that'll bring up a second and 10, 154. Two timeouts for Canes, all three for Wentgo. Renko throws the ball away. We talk about it all the time. That's something you're going to see in high-level Madden. These guys don't like to force passes down the field. They're willing to throw it away and lift the fight another down. High snap on the delay, and that gives just enough room for Keynes to get in there and 
foil that play. Sam Shields with his third tackle of the game. Yeah, you see that high snap? I'll give you a tip. Anytime you see that high snap, Coltrane, it's either going to be a play action or a draw play. Those are when those high snaps come into play at Madden. It's a free agent bronze player, which is the lowest tier in Madden. Sam Shields making plays. And Mariota takes off. Oh, hit! And a big hit by Keynes. And Marcus was lucky to hang on to it. Yeah, Keynes gives Wint a look like, what is you doing, Wenty? You got to protect the quarterback. And so Wynn Goat will kick it through, and he will take the lead. We are in the NFC North of the Madden 18 Club Championship. We are live from Orlando here at the ESPN Wild World of Sports. A stone throw away from the skills challenges and practices and I think there's a funnel cake out there somewhere. <laughs> Let's go over to Dave and Rico for an update. Hey guys, Drag answering back over here after Rival was able to get an early rushing score, driving the ball downfield with the running attack, eventually able to punch it in. He had a little bit of trickeration on that one, a little bit of misdirection, had the youngster confused. 10-7 Drag just under the two minute warning here in the first half, guys. And we saw Drag run that end around, not the PA end around, but the actual end around, and it's worked so far. Good play call. Hey, Drag has one of the more popular ebooks out there. Talk to some of these Madden players like Sal and Jacksonville. People have bought Drag Strategy Guide and said it, it's really helped their offense out. So, shout out to Drag, you know, getting them tips out to the community. Second and one over here. No timeouts now for Canes. Trailing by a field goal okay. and finds Julio Jones but can't get out of bounds. So, the clock is on the move and so are the sticks. Kane's really looks like he's settled in here, though. He's getting guys wide open. Three-hour toothpick. There's no way. 70 seconds to go. Ball dead at midfield. Mariota has time. What pop Playmaker! It. And that was a tight window. It can't hang on. Clock will stop. With 63 ticks to go in the half. That was good pocket presence by Kane, though. Stepped to the side, stepped up, let the blocks develop. Playmaker just not able to execute on the possession catch. Trying to get to field goal range, tie this thing before the half, and Mariota will use his legs. And the former Oregon Duck will pick up six. You see how efficient he's being with that rollout local? I'm telling you, he's not holding the right trigger when he scrambles. He taps it once. Goes into that rollout movement, and then he's a threat to either pass or run. If you haven't tried that, you have to hit the lab and try out that mechanic in Madden. Third and four, quick throw. It finds its way to Harrison, so clock will be on the move. But he does get a new set of downs. Yeah, but no timeout, so the clock's ticking, and you know, you can't stop at one of those TOs, so he needs a set of urgency right here from Keynes. And here he has Dan Bailey, so he needs about four or five more yards keeps using Mariota this time it's a gain of two ball at the 36 35 seconds to go in the half and as we've mentioned no timeouts James representing his hometown Chicago Bears Winko representing his hometown Minnesota Vikings who wants to put on for this city one time if you went to, you got to stop letting Keynes roll, roll outside the pocket as much as he is. Quick throw to Derrick Henry, and now he's in field goal range. You just can't take a sack here on third and three. Yes, that's a good point. In field goal range, a sack might knock you right out of it. This is an important play right here for Keynes. I'll hand it off to Henry. Tries to truck, but... Have you met Night Train Lang? But first down, 20 seconds now. And it's ticking. Clock is ticking. Kane's running out of time. He needs to be careful here. And he's going to kick the field goal here. Yeah, I like it. I like that by Kane's. No need to get greedy. Let's tie this ball game. Remember, he messed up the extra point, though. Let's see how good he looks on this field goal kick. It's going to be a 43-yarder at the right hash to tie it here in the closing seconds of the first half here in the NFC North. Perfect. 
He's good. I think he should be good. That looks like it's in. Yep, the blue. And it's up, and it is good. And what you're talking about, RG, is that kick mechanic that if you get perfect up top and then you get back into the accuracy meter, you shouldn't get blocked. You won't get blocked in 99% of the cases as long as you do that. Uh, what a lot of people happen is they'll get the perfect at the top, but they'll just sliver. barely, they'll the barely be outside of that accuracy meter and they'll get their kick block. And they're like, RG, I thought I kicked it perfect. No. If you want it to be perfect, you need to be blatantly in that accuracy meter to really protect yourself. Sometimes you might get away with it, but that's the true protection. And Derek Henry almost got free. Had a big time truck on the pitch play. And that's where we are at the half here in the NFC North between the Bears and the Vikings. Kane and Wingoat knotted up at 10. That's a good half from both players. We got good action. Neck and neck, high level Madden all over the place. I'm ready to just get right back into it. I'm feeling it. Okay, well, let me show you the highlights here in the first half. Back and forth. And really for both of these guys, RG, they had to take what the defense gave them. Yeah, there's not a lot of mistakes here. That looked like a lit, that was cutting it close right there for <laughs> Wincoat. But other than that, both players playing really good. I was impressed with Keynes when he decided to punt, get the stop. Here's his possession after that. Goes to Sharp, gets to the flats. Good stick work, touchdown tie, ball game. It was 7-7 seven to seven at that point. And then they end up trading some field goals there late. And nice clock management, no timeouts. And Keynes was able just to move down the field and have the faith, kick the field goal, and now we're tied at 10 at the half. Yeah, this is a great half. You got two young guys living their dreams, representing their favorite teams, repping their hometowns. Sadly, only one of them can come out on top, so we're going to have a battle in that second half. Well, let's see what's going on on the other side of the NFC North with Dave Enrico. Thank you, guys. Got a really solid game going on over here as well. Drag and rival Packers, Lions, the NFL rivalries just keep on coming. 10-7 drag up at the half. Let's take a look at the highlights from that one so far. Rico, this has been back and forth, some turnovers, but also some pretty solid ground game. Oh yes, this was like a great Thanksgiving I once spent. As you can see, rival with that ground game was able to punch it in and get that early lead. But drag got three to come back, but then his defense started to click. That's right, Rival looking, 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 finally not able to find something, a big fourth down stop for Drag there. Allowed him, you mentioned it in our update, the trickeration going on. Absolutely, there's no hateration on that. Great call, Drag. Now, when you're playing, talking about guys like Drag and Rival, Rival, first live event, 17 years old. Drag, one of the older competitors we have in the club championship. How big of a difference is that when you're on a stage like this? It's a huge difference. As you can see, the bright lights, even Figgy, who's been here before, has told everybody his eye was twitching, he was nervous. No matter how many times you play Madden at this level, every game is a new one. And it just takes you a bit, a bit of time to get your bearings and get your feet wet. But now, we saw that first half. Look for both of these guys to settle down and play some great football in the second half. And a quick thought on the Vikings game, just because you saw Winko qualify and win that Viking Club championship, what do you expect out of the young man in the second half? I'm going to be 3,000% honest on here. I wasn't sure if this was an off year for Ivy Strafing or Winko was that good. Watching him play against Canes right now has let us know that this kid is real deal as advertised. Winko might be the... Super Bowl go. Oh, there you it never is. Know. <laughs> well, we are being 3,000% honest here, so I'm liking that. Very nice. Let's get back into the action. Off to Scott and RG, guys. Gentlemen, thank you so much. 10-10 here at the half. Back here in the booth. Well, we got a good crowd here today. Folks are winding around. We got to go into the weekend. NFC all day today. AFC tomorrow. And then we head on to Minnesota. That's a long way away from these guys tied at 10 at the half. Yeah, and the thing that's so cool is this is history in the making as well. The winner of this tournament, Coltrane, is going to be the first ever club champion when all 32 teams are involved. And anytime you can be a part of history, that's something special. Random little tidbit out there for you. I would like to subscribe to your newsletter. 10 to 10. Starting quarter number three, Canes with the ball. Goes to Derek Henry, and both these guys have been handing the rock. Derek, just four carries for eight yards, been a much bigger contributor to Wintgoat's game. Look at that Kane's stats on the ladder. 
55 and 13 with an 80% win percentage. Pretty good record right there for Keynes. And there is Marvin Harrison. Place the ball at the 42, big third and one. And we've seen Keynes willing to punt the ball on fourth down, so. If you win goat, you might be able to force a punt if you can sting up right here. Needs a yard. Keynes looking like he wants to slang the rock around here on third and short. Harrison was open for a minute, but he was going to wait for that throw to the sideline to Mariota. And that'll give him a new set of downs at the 44. And I think this is a great tactic by Keynes. You see the zones drop underneath to play the drags on a third and one. Every, obviously, they're going to play everything short. It's a great time to take advantage of those stingy defenses and pick up a big chunk of yards. And that's what Keynes did right there. That's some high-level Madden, Scott. One of my favorite money time plays, second and inches, third and short. If I'm having trouble moving the ball against that defense, that's when I'm going to try to open it up because I know that might be one of the few times that they give me something deep down the field. Second and four at the 38. Bunch to the right. Mariota. Got to get defense. rid of it. Good stick. Able to escape. Oh. Gets a block. And he'll just slide down at the 26-yard line. Great stick work there by Keynes in the lieu of Mariota. And look at that scramble, Loco. We've been talking about it all game. Keynes is a maestro with it. And another benefit of it is your reaction out of going from pocket to scramble, Loco, is so much faster than if you just hold right trigger. Look how responsive he looks when he's scrambling with Mariota. I'm telling you, it's because he's tapping that right trigger instead of holding it. Keynes has mastered that mechanic, Scott. Looked like he had a man downfield, but decides to tuck it and run, make it a second and five. When you get a single elimination, you're just a little bit more careful with the football. Yeah, you have to be. This is your tournament life on the line for both of these guys. They lo you lose this game, you're not making the ultimate league. Your Madden season is most likely over on a competitive level. On an MCS level, you're going to have to wait till next year. And these guys are putting in a lot of time and effort to get here. Boy, they got to be feeling the pressure. The toothpick's still alive as well, Coltrane. Going on four hours now for the toothpick. Stop. Third and two at the 18. It's good defense. He's and got he has a man. That's Harrison. And some toe drag swag down at the four. There's that PA post play again, it looks like. Just one of the better plays. If, if you're a beginner at home and you want a money formation, you get into that gun bunch, run either that PA post or the corner strike. <laughs> it's a good starting point. And there goes Derek Henry. Try to truck him, but instead he gets blown up. Look at Went. To staying true to form, repping the look at that Vikings hat, nice hat. But he doesn't, he doesn't get emotional. That's a guy that keeps his emotions in check. That's a really good characteristic to have if you want to get involved in competitive gaming. It's the opening drive of the third quarter. He's in! And Derrick Henry will walk in. He chews up a ton of yardage and a ton of time in the third. And Keynes now has the lead. Jordan Powell, 22 years old from Monet, Illinois. Going to get... Going up against the rival Minnesota Vikings, Nicholas Anderson from New Brighton, Minnesota, 18 years old. He's a Mr. Anderson. You got to do it. Anytime <laughs> someone's got the last name Anderson, you have to do it. Flashback to the Matrix. It's a good flick. 17 to 10. Here goes Mr. Anderson. And now he's got to answer. For the first time today, he finds himself down by a touchdown. Take a look again, RG. Just a simple stretch play. Yeah, and Derrick Henry, that's a beast out here on the mat in Grinnard. Actually had a really good season for the Tennessee Titans as well. It's a future NFL stud right there. That's the NFL playoff version. 90 overall. He'll cost you 44 towards your cap. And that's what game mode we're playing here is... Diggs spins his way to the 40. It's salary cap mode. You got 
34 players on the roster. There's a couple flex positions. And you pick the players, but you got to stay within the cap. I love when you see a guy like Stephon Diggs playing, actually. It's <laughs> weird when you see the real Vikings player actually on the Vikings because salary cap, the rosters are usually so unique. It's like the unicorn of the mode right there, you know? He's a guy that you don't want to hit stick on a streak. Too soon? <laughs> that, that animation was, no, no disrespect to the Saints fans. Uh, Williams, that was a tough play, but that was the hits, the whiff hit yes, stick animation on that Diggs catch. I think it went viral. People were tweeting that it went viral. The, the, when you when you miss the hit stick and Madden meme all over the place. Press coverage. He's going to go verticals, and he will throw oh! this away, and that's going to be intentional grounding. Oh, that's big for Winko. He's got himself in the fourth and thirteen. Kane can get all kinds of momentum. He's going to call a timeout right there. It was press coverage, and he was bringing the house. Yeah, Wentko just trying to throw it away. There was no receiver in that direction. Gets the rare penalty, and look, Wentko's going to get his boot out. And there's the punt. Scum punt. And he just wants to put it to the side. Eight. Team yard punt. That'll get the boo birds out. Who's his punter? Spencer Lanning. So the, the, the He's a 59 core bronze. He could have put his and I, I, kicker I, in. Well, I actually like that strategy from Winko because the punters overall is so low. If you try to punt it for real, you're, you're barely going to get 18 yards as is. So if you're just willing to take the 18 yards, not uh, risk the kick return, why not? So you know that's something Winko, that wasn't an accident. He that's practice, that. practice, that's a strategy. And that's high-level Madden right there from Witt, Mr. Anderson, as I like to call him. He needs a stop here, second and eight. Keynes can make it a two-score game. The pocket, he's going to roll out. There he goes. Oh, sets his feet. There's Y. Y stopped his route, though, and Mariota will scramble for the first down. And that's the end of the third quarter. We're headed to the fourth. Only five minutes left between the Bears and the Vikings. Wow, and Kane's in control now here, Coltrane. Pretty much just right on the edge of field goal range. Flag on the play on the snap. It's got to be offsides. So that's a free play. We'll see what he does with it. And he will take the five yards. First and five at the 31. And he is in field goal range with Dan Bailey. Yeah, you really see that Aaron Rodgers situation in Madden Coltrane where uh, you get the offsides, but you're able to continue the offensive play as well. That's pretty cool right there. Not something you see every day when, when playing Madden football. Second and six after the loss of one. This is big. He's just going to kill that clock as much as possible. Continue to nick and pick at this defense. Not make any mistakes. And take a field goal if he needs to. Mariota. Quick throw. Shannon Sharp. Almost the same route they scored a touchdown on. Yep, and smartly goes down to protect Sharp. Like we said, you don't want to turn the ball over. You can make this a two-possession game. Kane's really showing his experience right now, putting himself in good position to win this game and have the Chicago Bears advance to the next round of this club championship. 9 of 11 is Mariota for Kane's and the Bears. Oh. And there goes Derrick Henry. It's going to depend on the spot. He's going to be just shy, second in inches. And being just shy, that, that's probably good for Keynes right there because he's just able to kill more and more clock and take it away from Winko. Winko desperately needs to force some sort of turnover and make a play Back here on defense. Back to Henry. You saw the big-time block in the middle of the field, and that springs him for the first down. And first and 10 at the 12, so he's got an opportunity to still pick up another first down. If he wins this game, is there any chance that the toothpick makes it to the next round with him? There's no way. Henry. He's kind of like a pool shark right now. You got the toothpick <laughs> not saying much. Yeah. Letting his game do the talking. Yeah, yeah, more like the pool. I was going to say Razor Ramon, but you remember Razor. He's throwing the toothpick <laughs> in your face. He's doing the bad guy thing. Swagging around. Gonna, here we go with Kane, still killing that clock, Coltrane. He's in a really good spot right now. Second and ten. 
Setting up for a, another inside run. Henry gets on the outside. He brings it back to the middle. And that'll take us to the two-minute warning if Winko doesn't decide to pull a timeout here. Look at it again. Yep, and then short. So if it, the crazy thing is if he can get another first down here at Coltrane without getting into the end zone and take even more of that clock, a first down is almost going to put Winsco in a situation where he will absolutely 100% need an onside kick. Because he's going to have to start, he's gonna, he, yeah, he's yeah. Gonna have to start getting those timeouts if he lets Keynes get this first down. You're almost better off if he scores the touchdown than gets the first down. Pitches it outside, needs a stop. What a block! Is there a touchdown, Bears? Look at Canes, a little fist pump right there. Wintgold still not showing us any type of emotion, staying poised. And like I said, I think that's better for Wintgold because it's only two possessions. So if he can score here quickly, he still has those three timeouts that will give him a chance to get a stop in the ball back. So it's 24 to 10 now. 156 to go. And Wintgold. He's going to need some Madden magic to get back into this one. Yeah, this is a big drive for him. I love these divisional games, Coltrane. When you hit the toss real quick, good stick work. Big that block, block. though. It's <laughs> a big block. But what I'm saying is I love these divisional games. When you see Vikings versus Bears, and you just know the rivalry between these types of teams, it gives a little something extra to the game, in my opinion. Picks up the blitz. Looking downfield. Nowhere. Great user on the A route. Let's go over to Dave and Rico with an update on the other side of the NFC North. Drag taking control here in this fourth quarter. Derrick Henry has been his guy all game long, got in the end zone, also converted the two-point conversion, a big deal to take that lead up to 14. He's up 21-7, 250 and counting in the fourth quarter. Back to you guys. Wow, Derrick Henry becoming the meta here in the NFC North at least as Diggs yeah. drops another one. What are the odds of that, huh? The entire <laughs> NFC North just rocking Henry on it. We haven't seen him in the tournament like that. It's the playoff version. And he's a tough man to bring down. Third and tenth. There's Paul Richardson. He gets oh! away from Krause at the 10. Five. Touchdown, Vikings. And watch. Wood's not going to blink. Same composure. Look at him. Same posture. Focus, not messing around. We got ourselves a ball game. He still has all three timeouts, Coltrane. This is going to be a huge sequence of downs. I don't think he's going to go for the onside kick. You got to kick it deep. Yeah, I think you kick it deep and try to play defense. Keynes knows how big this is about to be. Things are about to get intense. Paul Richardson outruns Paul Krause. One of the few guys that's got the speed to make a man miss. Oh. And Earl Thomas the third. Take a look at it again. It's just a simple route to the outside, and Krause is the last man to beat. Yeah, went for the dive tackle, life on the line, not able to execute. And you can show Keynes' reaction, not Wentz, because you know Wentz not giving us any type of reaction. 24-17. And there's timeout number one. After the loss of three on first down. And this is a tough situation. A lot of people don't know what to do, Coltrane. Do you just run it three times and get all the timeouts and play defense? Or do you go for the first down and really put the nail in the coffin? I'm always a fan of going for first the first down. down. You got to get the first down here. Good read. Throws it underneath. It's Julio. close. It's going to be third and short. Uh-oh. Minute 20 to go. One timeout remaining for Wentgo. If you win right now, you got to watch the draw and the double drags. Took three players to bring him down. You also got to watch that PA post play. Just needs a yard. Yep, there's the post. You also got to watch for Mariota scrambling and Canes. A lot to respect right now. A lot. To, this is a tough defensive put down. Wow, this is it. Look at the focus of Canes. He knows how big this is, Coltrane. You got to bring the house and hope for a block shed. This is your Madden season on the line for one of these players. Canes and will get the water. Will clinch it for Canes. Oh, my. And you called it. You got to watch the Mariota scramble. Scott's been scouting it all game. We've been talking about it. 
Goes into that rollout. Loco, look how crispy it is. What a ball game. Victory formation, and the Bears are going to win a playoff game. Gets to bend the knee, as you'd like to say. A little Game of Thrones reference. How long? What do we got to wait a whole nother year for some Thrones? It's a long time away for Game of Thrones. Look at that. But show. it won't be long before we see Went go back in a Madden competition. Let's go over to Packers and Lions with Dave Enrico. Thank you, guys. What a finish there. Kane's able to pull it out. But as we switch over here, rival is not done yet. Touchdown, Lions. Yeah, for a little bit, it didn't look like rival was Drag's rival. But now that he's made it a little bit more respectable, if he can lock down on this drive.